Alright, so today I'm going to show you how we're going to make a pop art image, such as the one that you see on your screen here. I did this one of Marilyn Monroe. And um, notice how the colors are not realistic. Um, and we're breaking everything down into shapes. Also notice with the colors how I stuck to um, a color family for the figure itself. So for Marilyn, I stuck with violets and red violets. Um, and then I completely changed um, the background to a complementary color of that. But everything else is violets and red violets, so keep that in mind when we go to choose color, okay? So this is what we're going to be making today, something like this, but you get to choose your subject matter. All I ask is that it is pop art. So in your Google Drive, you want to go to New, More, Google Drawings, and you can do um, a self-portrait of yourself or you can do a portrait of a pop artist since we're focusing on pop art. It could be a pop artist from um, a long time ago or one currently. Now before you do anything, please title your work. So just say pop art and then put your name. All right, and I am going to insert an image that I can trace from, okay? So go to insert image, and if you wanna do a self-portrait, go to camera and take a picture of yourself using your camera. Um, if you want to, if you have something uploaded for, or downloaded on your computer, you can upload it, but I'm just gonna go search the web, type in your pop star, and scroll and find a picture you like. Make sure it is an actual picture of the person because sometimes these pictures aren't correct. So I like this one, this is the one I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna move it and size it. Remember if you wanna keep it proportioned, you size from the corner and just kinda center it here. Now yours might be a different shape than mine, depends on the image you choose. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna begin tracing. Now you can choose your tool, so you can go curve tool or polyline tool. I kind of go back and forth depending on what I'm doing here. Remember, it kind of helps if you're a little zoomed in, so you can zoom in a little bit. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna try the curve tool, and I'm gonna start clicking around Elvis's face here. This is going to be the main shape. All right, um, so I wanna go up here to color and make that transparent. I don't wanna leave it the color because then I can't see anything else and I need to trace everything in his face. Um, all right, so after I do that, then I'll go on and I'll move to hair. And for hair, like here, he has all these little strands that stick out. It's okay if you don't get all of those little strands. Just, you know, get what you can. So for hair, I'm going to move to the polyline tool. And I'm going to do the hair kind of in sections because it doesn't seem to want to work for me when I try to do it as one big shape. Now, you do want to kind of follow the line that is around the face when you're doing the hair. You don't want to change that up too much. But it doesn't matter, like I could start right here in this shape and just go out. That doesn't really matter. It's just when you get to down here is when it matters, where it's touching that other outline you just made. Click my select tool. There were some highlights in his hair here, so I'm gonna go ahead and make these transparent so I can see where those highlights are. There we go. And I'm gonna outline those highlights as well. Trace like the ear, the neck, the shoulders, that kind of stuff. I'm just making these see-through for now. Eventually we will change these colors and you also want to outline the clothing. Now when you outline the clothing, if your picture is like my picture, you do have to go to the edges because sometimes it just likes to mess up on me a little bit. So I'm just going to focus on sections. Alright, I'm going to make these transparent so I can see what's underneath them. And I want to click, I want to also select 
some of these little shadows here. Okay, so now that you have that, now you wanna go into the face and start um, outlining the shapes you see in the face. And not only are you outlining like the shape of the eye, the shape of the teeth, you are outlining the shapes of like the shadows and the highlights. Now for Elvis here, a lot of his face has more shadow in it. So I'm gonna really focus on thinking of the shadows as shapes. So you're gonna go your curve tool or your polyline tool. And I would maybe just start with like the shapes of the eyes. Start there or the eyebrows because that's going to be the most important part. And once you have the basic features outlined, then you can go in and start focusing more on the shadows and stuff like that. All right, so for this eye here, I'm just focusing like around the white part of the eye. And then I'll go back in and focus like on the eyelid and stuff like that. All right, so it looks a little scary now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this eye, I'm gonna press shift, select that eye, and I'm gonna make them both transparent. So that way I can go back to my polyline tool and now start tracing the iris. And I'm gonna make that transparent and then trace the pupil. So I'm gonna move down here towards the mouth. I'll show you the nose in a moment. So for the mouth, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first trace the top lip. I'm gonna trace this little corner shadow here. Now for the bottom lip, what I want you to notice is over here, I cannot see where his lip actually ends. There's no line defining it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna focus on the shadows, the shapes of the shadows that I see. So I see this shadow predominantly. So that's what I am going to use to trace this part of the lip, okay? Now, I do wanna get his teeth. Now the teeth give me a little bit of trouble, but I think because it's just such a tiny little shape here. So I'm just gonna trace the general outline of the teeth. I'm not gonna worry about tracing each individual tooth and then I'll just make these little shapes that kind of suggest where the teeth are separated and that's how I'll do the teeth there okay let me zoom back out um, now I trace this shadow here but I also see there is a decent highlight so I'm going to trace that highlight as well and now let's go into the nose. So the nose, look at this predominant shadow here. I'm gonna trace this shadow on the side of the nose that I see. This goes all the way down for his little smile line. Now I am kind of generalizing a lot of these shapes. And there are, I could be here all day going through each and every change in value, change in shadow. So you just wanna kinda of get the basics. Now the eyes are gonna have the most complex patterns and shapes. So I like to get really close in on the eye and make sure I align everything as best that I can. All right, so I told you it's gonna look a little funny. Um, so now I need to just focus on the sides of the face here. All right, now the only other thing that um, I might want to trace is maybe this pretty light part on his nose. And just, I'm gonna have to know that that is light. That's the highlight. Okay. So from here, what we want to start doing is changing the colors to this. And this is the part I find the most fun. So you want to think of a color palette. So if you go up here to color, you can choose these colors. Remember, you can always create custom colors. Um, I want you to think in color families. So I don't want you to like do his eyebrow pink and then this shadow part of the eye 
blue and then the actual eye green. It's not meant to be like a splatter of color. We want it to have a focus. So I want you to like pick a color. So like you're gonna pick blue. And then the shadow parts will be dark blue, right? The highlights will be light blue. The middle tones will be just regular blue. So you're gonna focus on blue, showing lights and darks of blue or whatever color it is you wanna pick. I am picking yellow to be my color for Elvis's face, okay? Now I can change colors for like the clothing if I want in the background, but for the face, stick with one color. So I'm gonna stick to a yellow family, and if I want to, I can even go a little bit into yellow orange. I'm fine with that, as long as it's right next to each other. You don't wanna like click yellow and then move over here to violet. If you don't remember like what shape needs to be what, you can always click the shape, make it transparent, look at it and go, oh, okay, so that needs to be pretty dark. So the cool thing here, I can click this eyebrow, I can press shift, I can click this eyebrow, and I can make them the same color. So they're pretty dark. This is not dark enough, these yellows, so I'm gonna custom. So I'm gonna go to yellow, and I'm gonna make it a heavy, dark yellow. So this needs to be dark, but it doesn't need to be as dark as the eyebrow. Now, I don't want these black outlines, so please, when you are changing the color, make sure you get rid of these black outlines. And you, again, can just click, press Shift, click, and it gets rid of the outlines for you. All right, again, the eyes are gonna be the trickiest part. So just get real close in there. For the pupil, I'm just doing straight black. Keep it easy. And for the iris, that needs to be pretty heavy and dark. Now I'm not gonna pick like a million custom colors. I'm just probably gonna make a handful and kind of just go back to the ones I need to go back to. Here you go. Now, for the whites of the eyes, what I like to do is I like to just go to the shape. And I'm kind of fudging a little bit here. And I'm going to make me a circle, a little baby circle. And I'm going to make that white, get rid of the outline. And what I can do is I can right click, copy, and I can paste. And I made me another one, and then I'll just drag that other one over here. Okay. Now for the whites of the eyes, those are never actually white. They're usually like a deep grayish blue, a lot of gray in there. So I'm just gonna make those gray. Um, okay, so now I can go in and start doing a little bit more here. I remember this was my highlight, so that's gonna probably be my lightest yellow I can find. Again, you can shift click all the ones you need to be the same color. All right, so I went in and did most of my face here. So now you need to make sure you click the whole face and make that a color. There we go. So now that should start looking pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna move up to the hair and I'm going to first click my select tool and I'm gonna select all of the little baby shapes. I'm gonna change that color. Now this is gonna be a light, it's like the highlight in the hair. So I'm gonna keep those lighter. Now every other shape of the hair that I made, I am shift clicking all the way around. And that's going to be pretty dark. I'm gonna move down to the neck. Now the neck is generally darker than the face. So I'm deciding I don't really like this brownish tone. I wanna keep it in the gold family, so I'm gonna change these back. I can now change colors for the shirt or clothing if you would like, or you can keep it in the same color family because that will look very, very nice as well. So I think I'm gonna change. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in here. If you run into this kind of problem where things aren't lining up totally right, 
you can just click and drag and adjust the shapes. Now, if something needs to be reordered, if you need to send things to the front or to the back, remember you can right click, go to order, send to back, bring to front. All right, before I get too crazy in all these little details, let's add a background. So what I'm gonna do is I am actually going to click the picture of Elvis, drag it, bam, I'm gonna delete it. I don't need it anymore. And I can, now because Elvis's picture was skinny, I'm just gonna like make a box around Elvis here. And I'm gonna make it red. Get rid of my outline. Now, I can't see Elvis anymore, so I'm gonna right click, order, send it back. There we go, there's Elvis again. Okay, now from here you should be able to see a little bit more of like little things that need to be adjusted. So just go in and adjust what you need to adjust. All right, so there is my picture of Elvis. Now I could leave it like this if I like it like this, or I can create another background. I can go to shapes and I can make a big old rectangle. And if I want to, I can color that. I think I might play with a little bit of gradient here. I'm gonna go to custom. So just remember if you're adding something, just always send it to the back. Okay, so um, here is my finished piece. I kind of like it like this. I chose to just do gray in the background. And um, so I've created a pop art portrait. I know that's kind of a lot of information, but it does look so, so cool. And so you want to save this. It'll save into your Google Drive, but I also think it's smart just to go to File, Download, and save it as a JPEG. And then we can upload it to Artsonia, and we can upload it into Google Classroom. So there is how you do a pop art portrait using Google Drawing.